president. So the president walks into his office one day with a 15-year-old boy. And he says to him, hey, listen, uh, this 15-year-old boy, Baby, you can call me a superman. Chuchu tell ta 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 ni ta Hey yo, what's up everybody, welcome back to our channel, it's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Funny Jesse. So right about now we're going to do another reaction video, but before we get into the reaction guys, or before I get into the reaction guys, I want to thank everybody out there who've been subscribing to our channel, you guys are really amazing, thank you so much, we're almost getting to 11,000 subscribers and it's because of you guys, thank you and thank you so much and also the people who've been giving us reaction videos, you guys are really amazing, you're super super amazing and uh, another important thing guys, we have a Patreon where you can just go and support us by just uh, subscribing or joining the movement, I mean we do uh, reactions in there too, we do like exclusive reactions if you want us to do them and we also uh, have our own podcast where we're going to post them in there if you want to listen to some amazing topics about societal issues, about things that are happening in the world, things that are happening in a relationship or something like that, just go to uh, our Patreon, just uh, subscribe and feel free to just, you know, be part of the family and whatnot. So anyway, so now this reaction over here was suggested by a lot of people and they suggested that we should go react to if God knows everything, why is it my fault? Yeah, and this is by Norman Ali Khan. So without any further ado, let's get it. The Christians believe we live on the earth as a punishment. Muslims don't believe that. You know, some Muslims think Adam alayhi salam ate from the tree, and so Allah punished him, and so he sent him to the earth. So coming to the earth, for some people, it's a punishment. I am telling you, Allah sent Allah put us on the earth before any tree or any fruit or anything. He already said you are supposed to be on the earth. That was part of the plan. That was part of the plan. Oh man, this is going to get complicated. Listen to my example carefully. Everything will start making sense. Inshallah. There is a person who works in a company. He works in a company and he is a secretary. Very low job, first, you know, at the front desk, almost security guard kind of guy, okay? He has to get chai for the boss, he has to, you know, drive his car, and that's what he does. But he works really hard and he gets promoted. And he goes to school and he gets promoted again. And then he gets promoted again. And then he gets promoted again. He serves in this company for 30, 40 years. And now, he is the vice president of the company. What was his first job? Security guard for the company. And now what is he? What did I say? President or vice president? Vice president. That's a lot of promotion. He gave his whole life to this company. Now one, there's only one person who has a higher job than him. Who's that? The president. So the president walks into his office one day with a 15 year old boy and he says to him, hey listen, uh, this 15 year old boy, he's our new vice president, go get him some chai. Now the vice president served in this company for 40 years, he got promoted and promoted and promoted and promoted and all of a sudden, this 15 year old is going to be the vice president, excuse me? No, you can't, you can't do that to me. Who is he? What degree does he have? What qualifications does he have? What has he ever done? He doesn't have, he doesn't know anything. Look at what I have done. Look at what he has done. Look at my experience, look at his experience. Look at my qualifications, look at his qualifications. He, is he has he even graduated from school? This boy? Does he even know how to spell his own name? You're gonna make him vice president? I do not accept. Oh. You feel bad for the vice president or no? I would feel bad. If I was in the I was in the office watching this, I was like, man, this is not fair. Poor vice president. He worked so hard. And all of a sudden he doesn't 
instead of getting a promotion, he gets this other guy and he says, this is a, yeah, go get him some chai. What is this? But I'm not talking to you about a vice president, am I? Who am I talking about? It means, did he serve a lot before? Did he get promoted? He got promoted even above the angels. And all of a sudden, this thing is made from dirt. And then Allah put ruh in it and says, this gets the promotion. And Iblis says what? No. You can't give him the... That's not fair. What I'm trying to tell you is that the complaint of Iblis is logical. We will solve that problem later. But the first thing you need to know is that the complaint of Iblis is understandable. That's the first problem. Here's the second problem. Now imagine that you work in a company and you live where in Kuwait. And your company decided that they are going to transfer you. They're going to transfer you to you from Kuwait. They're going to transfer you to Sri Lanka. Okay? But they don't tell you. They email the whole department but they don't email you. Everybody knows that you are going where? Where are you gonna go? I forgot, tell me. Oh, you're going to Sri Lanka, very good. Congratulations. Everybody knows, the only one who does not know is who? You. Okay. One day, you come five minutes late. You come to the office, how late? Five minutes late. And your boss says, can I talk to you for a second? Come here. You have come five minutes late. This is unacceptable. I am transferring you to Sri Lanka. Well, wait a second. The plan was always to send me to Sri Lanka. And then somebody comes and tells me, hey, listen, everybody got the email. You're going to Sri Lanka. And you say, what? Me? Yeah, you're going to Sri Lanka. And you say, I don't want to go to Sri Lanka. I want to stay here. He says, yeah, if you want to stay here, meet me in my office. It'll take five minutes. You'll only be five minutes late to work. And so you're how late to work? Five minutes. And when you're five minutes late, your boss calls you and says, why are you late? I will punish you and send you where? Sri Lanka, sorry Sri Lankans, I don't mean Sri Lanka is a punishment. I love Sri Lanka. <laughs> but if, you, if you're being sent there, you say, no, 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 wait a second. You already decided. You are not sending me because I made a mistake. You are sending me because that was your plan. It's not my fault. You were always going to do that. Yes or no? And then you'll show him the email. Look, the email says, you're sending me. You told everybody else, the whole department knows I'm going to be sent. But I'm not talking about you, and I'm not talking about Sri Lanka. What am I talking about? Adam alayhi salam. What did Allah tell the angels? I am going to send him where? On the earth. But Adam alayhi salam did not begin his life on the earth. He began his life in Jannah. And then, he's living in Jannah, he's told you can have anything you want, the only thing you cannot have is what? One tree, one fruit. From this tree, you don't have that. Everywhere else you're free to go. Now Iblis comes to him from Surah Al-A'raf, we learn, Iblis comes to him and gives him two options. Listen to these two options. And takuna malakaini aw takuna min al-khalideen. Listen, everybody got the email. You're supposed to go where? Earth. But where do you live right now? Jannah. So you know what? The only people who get to stay here, who get the proper visa here, there's only two kinds of people who can stay in Jannah. Either you have to be an angel, or you have to be permanent residents. Khalidin. Those are the only two people who have visa that they can stay permanently in Jannah. And you know what? The only way to get visa is to eat from the tree. That's why he doesn't want you to eat from the tree. Because if you eat from the tree, what's going to happen? 
Oh, then you will get permanent residence. You see, I'm telling you, the plan is to send you to the earth. Now, Adam alayhi salam and our mother, they eat from the tree or no? They eat from the tree. And when they eat from the tree, what does Allah say? Ihbitu. Get down from here. Go where? To the earth. Now, I told you a little bit about Iblis, and I told you a little bit about who? Adam. Let's compare the two of them. Think about this clearly. Because we have to reach some conclusions. Adam alayhi salam was given a promotion, yes or no? Yes. He was given a promotion, even the angels had to do what? Sajda. He's given a promotion. Was Iblis ever given a promotion? Yes. He was given a promotion even above the ranks of the of the angels. So they both had a promotion. Adam alayhi salam was honored by Allah. Iblis was also honored by Allah. Adam alayhi salam disobeyed Allah. Yes or no? Yes. Iblis disobeyed Allah. Yes or no? Yes. Before I go to Adam, Iblis, la ilaha Allah, Iblis has a logical complaint. Yes or no? Remember the promotion and the vice president? Does Iblis have a logical complaint? Yes. Adam can also have a logical complaint. What's Adam's logical complaint possibly? Well, you were always going to send me to the earth. This is a trap. I eat from the tree or don't eat from the tree. You were always going to send me. You, you already knew I was going to eat from the tree. Allah already knows what I'm going to do. It's not my fault. So Iblis can have a logical complaint and Adam can also have a logical complaint. The difference is Iblis makes the complaint. But Adam السلام, does not complain. He says, Rabbana walamna anfusana. He says, no, it's my fault. Even if it doesn't make sense to me, my logic is limited because I am a human being. Allah knows way more than I do. Allah has way more wisdom than I do. I know that I got greedy. I know my fault. You know what happens? When people want to blame Allah, they don't want to take responsibility. And Adam alayhi salam took personal responsibility. When people want to blame Allah, they will be like Iblis. And when people take personal responsibility, they will be like who? Adam alayhi salam. The entire problem of destiny is one problem, the problem of responsibility. That's all it is. Wow, wow, such an amazing video right there. Such an amazing video, man. This is good, this is really good. If God knows everything, why is it my fault? I mean, he just said it clearly, like the problem that we have is responsibility. I mean, nobody wants to be responsible for their own wrongdoing or something like that. And I think uh, it's good to be responsible so that you be aware of the things that you're not supposed to do. The Adam explanation was just, he accepted that he was greedy, you understand, and the punishment is to go to earth. The Iblis, which is Satan, was complaining that why are you, you know, um, giving this small boy, uh, what do you call the vice president, and you're sending me to to go and get him chai and something like that, which is is unacceptable. I mean, I can't do that, you understand? And he, he, he was complaining the whole time, you get it? I mean, this is it's just a matter of taking your responsibility. I mean, it's such an amazing video that it opened your eyes up and it, it actually shows you how uh, people don't take responsibility out there. People tend to just probably complain and complain and complain while the only thing you would have done is just take the responsibility and uh, let the complaint just slide. And I mean, such an amazing video right there. Such an amazing video. Anyway, guys, if you feel like I reacted to this video in a better way, just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down my comment section tell us exactly what you want me to react or what you want us to react. And... Uh, just let us know man. Just tell me what you think about the video. What do you think about? Uh, my reaction and just let me know the comment section you can tell us anything 
and if you have any kind of video that you want us to react to we're gonna do it for you just go down the comment section just put it down there and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel then we keep on subscribing then we we'll give us the motivation to do a lot of videos to give you a better better content and yeah last but not the least I'm gonna see you rather we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out